What do Americans really know about German reunification? There's something about 99 red balloons, but I'm not really sure. Wrong. It happened in the late 20th century? True. But how about this one? Have you ever heard of Helmut Kohl? I have no idea who that is. Of course you don't. Yeah, he's the guy that invented the hat. Of course not. Who is this Kohl guy? You might think he was the founder of that clothing store your parents shop at, but actually, he was the Chancellor of Germany from 1982 to 1998, and was also known as the Reunifier. His government had a large influence on the forming of Germany we know today, through his work done in response to Gorbachev's reforming the Soviet Union, as well as his work for a European integration towards a unified entity. The Berlin Wall separating East and West Germany was brought down, thus beginning the reunification process in Germany. Mikhail Gorbachev was the leader of the Soviet Union at the time. As a reformer, Gorbachev introduced the Glasnost, openness, and Pirestroika, reconstruction, to the Soviet Union. This reformative package brought cooperation between NATO and the Warsaw Pact countries rather than conflict. These movements led to increased autonomy in the countries in the Warsaw Pact and reduced the role of central planning given Eastern Germany the opportunity to move towards reunification with the West. A unified Europe could avoid new conflicts, disasters, and assured destruction. The more the merrier. Kohl's insight on the matter became a driving force in his career, and he worked towards strengthening the European community, which we now know today as the European Union. Without Helmut Kohl, a common internal market wouldn't have been capable of allowing reformative measures to be taken for future Middle European and Eastern European countries to join the Open Union nor would the euro as a common currency come to pass at all, as laid out in the Maastricht Treaty. His government acknowledged the opportunity arising and reached out towards the outstretched hands of the German people. Who were the important figures in the fall of the Berlin Wall? Ronald Reagan? It was David Hasselhoff. He brought down the Berlin Wall with the power of his music. I've been looking for freedom. Just as Helmut Kohl was a strong force in the reunification of Germany, and speaking of Star Wars, so was Ronald Reagan. He was president from January 20th, 1981 until January 20th of 1989, just shortly before the fall of the Berlin Wall in November and Hasselhoff's legendary concert on New Year's Day. <coughs> His foreign policy was characterized by a strategy of peace through strength. He responded to Russia's deployment of missiles in the Warsaw Pact countries along the Iron Curtain by working with NATO to counter-deploy more missiles to match their SOA strength. He also put great emphasis on building defensive mechanisms, like the SDI, Strategic Defense Initiative, or Star Wars, as they called it, which was essentially a plan to have satellites with lasers that could shoot down incoming missiles, pew, pew, pew. Meanwhile, the arms race dragged on in the Cold War, continuing to do significant damage to the Russian economy. Luckily, Mikhail Gorbachev worked to fix this issue in 1985 by opening their borders and fostering international trade in Glasnost and Pirestroika. Reagan continued to work with Gorbachev to mutually assure the destruction of their stockpiled weapons. Thanks to Reagan's acting experience, he was a great public speaker. He became known as the great communicator because people did not feel looked down upon as many other politician speeches made people feel. Reagan's most memorable speech, of course, took place at the Brandenburg Gate with his message, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall, which he spoke and hoped the people of East Berlin could hear. Luckily, Hasselhoff was able to give his concert from the top of a crane, so his message of freedom could be heard loud and clear throughout a newly unified Berlin on New Year's Eve, 1989. All visual aids used in this educational video are merely for demonstrative purposes and do not directly represent Germany or any other country. If you'd like to see more of our educational videos, please follow the links here and here. Thanks for watching. <laughs> this video was produced as part of our German Week, celebrating 25 years of German unity.
We would also like to thank the German Information Center of the Embassy of the Federal Republic of Germany for their generous contribution.